Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2. Today we will take a look at the map deployment tutorial on Brest West. And um, this is a map I like. I used to really hate it, but now that I understand how to play it, I actually like it quite a bit. First of all, as blue side, I, in my opinion, you really need to kind of close the deal on this side here, especially if you are a tank division. This will be your bread and butter right here, as there is a lot of 2k range stuff you can uh, you can take advantage of. And while capturing this, you can also go for these two flags there, and again, take advantage of 2k range stuff, or 1500 even, uh, you can get the 2k around here. Or, um, you know, you can go here, you can even come in here and get some support from, from tanks in there to shoot on the side. This is just really a nice place to attack when you are a 2k tank division. Now, if you are an infantry division, you'd want to go in this forest here and this forest here. You could also go for the town there and place some anti-tank guns around here, some machine guns, more anti-tank here and more machine guns and then all you gotta do is smoke a little bit here and you know this town is pretty easy to capture most people don't bother um but i always try when a, a game of rest west i always try to go for this flag eventually if i'm allowed to this is also easy to get and obviously this is easy to get um so let's go into the details here you probably want a recon around here so putting a recon right here would be a good idea um you could you know even if you got a machine gun here or some infantry around here a recon will always see more than infantry so you know think of that for a while um mg42 ig18 this is the classic german that you want to be reaching for so the mg42 you could put it there but there is a possibility that the enemy will have a faster troop and the maybe an AT rifle will be here and will take your machine gun down so you know you never know I'd put a machine gun here I put an AG-18 right around here because you want it to be able to shoot if sorry if the enemy is a German um, division you might want to put the IG-18 just a little bit behind around here this is because you don't want him having a machine gun here and shooting at you so you know uh, these are good position. Uh, this, these are very defensive position, by the way. Um, but what you can also do, and that you should always do, actually, is put a flamer. Now, this will protect both your MG42 and IG-18. So you get the flamethrower around here. If there's an AT rifle here, it will kill the flamethrowers, and then you got time to unload the other two. So you'll put the machine gun 42 around here, and then you put the IG-18 around here. This is a good option. If you want to go extra, you can put more IG-18 and machine guns, you know, in this house, a machine gun and IG-18 here. And then you're sure, you're sure to hold the line here for sure. Uh, you could always put a pack 40 as well. You can put one right around here with your recon if you want to make sure. You want to protect these guys a little bit. Put some anti-air. Um, anti-air would be safe to go probably around here. Uh, but if you want to be aggressive, you'd probably put it around here. Um, but this is risky. This is very risky. I would put it here. And, but you got to be careful. Sometimes the enemy will come in into this forest and will try to push around here. So what you want might, might want to do as well is maybe put an infantry around here or uh, an, a, an infantry around here. You know, that's all up to you. Then, doing this opening here, you're also going to oh by the way uh, as time go on you want to put some grille around here on to really lock this place in but um to start you're gonna get these guys starstroke gonna do dp so a uh, a mix of cqc and long range infantry and you're gonna directly unload around here this is an easy flag for blue player to get so um you should definitely get it Maybe put a medium tank also. Ah, but this one's expensive. Let's take a Panzer tree And put it around here. 
always remember to take off the APCR when the game starts. But what that's going to do is if there's a tank coming in here, if there's half tracks, um, now these IG-18 should be able to take care of the half tracks and, and this pack 40 should be able to take care of light recon. But, you know, if there's anything coming in hiding around here, then you'll have that Panzer tree, which will be able most of the time to kill whatever is going to be roaming in phase A. So then you capture this flag and this flag right in the opening. So this is this is exactly what you want to do in this place here. Um, usually you might want to put a machine gun here or a machine gun here if you're a German. Soviet put it here. German put it here. Um, but you don't have to either. So what you want to do next is take a couple of CQC units, maybe a leader, more CQC units, and a anti-tank slash long-range infantry. And you want them to unload around here, or you can even tell them to unload here. Chances are the enemy won't have anything coming down this road, so this would be safe. If you unload around here, make sure you have a lot of CQC options like we do here. You know, we got two stars, some pioneers, plus the uh, two stars troop. So that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, CQC. But you also want a unit behind to place here, just in case these guys die. Then you don't lose the flag. You still got a unit here. And if you don't have any CQC units, then just put two medium range unit here with a uh, with an AT option um, bazooka or maybe uh, a, a light recon, just something because. Sometimes the enemy will come down the street and will actually try to push around here, which is why you should also get an AT coming in around here. So here you're safe. Um, this is tricky. Usually I'd get either a bazooka or an AT with a medium range or maybe even a machine gun around here. It all depends on what you got, really. Here we'll take the AT uh, and long range combo. So we'll put the long range here. We'll put the AT right around here. This is good because with a vehicle, they'll try to push around here, take you from behind or things like that. Or they might want to sneak around over here and go there like this and then sneak around there. So this guy is going to stop every avenue. And you know, there's not going to be a heavy tank around here in the early phase, so a light AT is just what you need. Alright, then we got some points for the half here. Red player will not often attack this place early on. They should, but they won't often do it. <coughs> so as a blue player, it is actually safe to go there with almost nothing. You want an Clara, of course in the windmill to see what's going on. You want a Grenadier DP in the house here. You want a light AT. And you know what? In the deployment, you, you can actually go with that. They put the light AT right around here. Because if the enemy comes down with troops, they'll come down this road most likely. And then you can just shoot them uh, from a distance and then you can retreat. So this would be good. Um, we'll put a Panzer tree ourselves because our tanks are really, really cheap, and we'll put that pincer tree right around here should be good. And then you always want at least one unit, uh, but we'll take two units in, in our case and put them here. So sometime the enemy will go down this road because they think it's an easy flag for them. It's not, okay? They, get, they got a long way to go to take this over. And well, true, you are going to on, uh, appear on this road and you'll have to come down here and it's going to be slow for you to get back up here as well but overall it's going to be easy for you to recapture this flag so most people won't attack there but they are that do if they do you know just deal with it just deal with it on the moment you, you don't need to spend a lot of points in the initial phase for this flag you don't need to put defenses around here either but if you're playing a good player, you should. And I'll explain to you when we switch side. So, <clears throat> sorry. This would be your deployment. 
And then you got probably some points left as well. If you built your division right for deployment, you will have some stuff extra. You can take a grill right away and put it here. You can take more anti-air and maybe put an anti-air, I don't know, here, eh, here, or maybe here. I don't know, just to protect your guys here. Um, but you could also put an anti air on this hill. I usually put one in the middle here. It's, it's a nice position for it. Or you can put some more anti tank around. You can, you, you got a lot of options here. You can put a recon plane with a fighter bomber. There you go. You know, there's a lot of options. All right. So this would be your deployment for blue side. For red side, you probably don't want to attack um, this place here unless you're playing a 2k tank division and you're sure of yourself then go for this like but just make sure you got a lot of he so a lot of ig18 you want to put in here um just because the enemy they'll, they'll just be able to come in here put some 80 guns in this forest and then the, they will absolutely kill you it is not recommended to go for this like you can try going for this like but don't go any further. Just put some machine guns in here, some HE units, and defend from these forests with uh, maybe a, a flamer. If you got some flamers, take four flamers and have them all go in these houses. And you're sure to capture this with some good support. You can do that and it's probably going to work, but don't go further. This you want to put a lot of good defenses in there. Probably some, some medium range infantry with one CQC and uh, one bazooka unit or AT rifle or something because the enemy can just come in here with their tanks and their half tracks and then they can come in here. So bazooka would do a lot of good here. And also maybe if you want to put a tank here or AT gun along with a machine gun, something to defend that AT gun from being shot at by another machine gun or something like that. So really defend this flag with your life because this is hard to get back. Especially if the enemy controls this, then he can just come in here, stop your reinforcement, and then it becomes a nightmare. So make sure that you really got some defenses going on around here. You want AT gun, you want machine gun, you want HE, um, you want a tank, you want some infantry in here, and maybe recon vehicles in there as well to, to help that infantry survive. You want, maybe you want artillery around here, a mortar, just to make sure that you kill whatever is bugging you. Over here, you should be good with just a machine gun. Most people won't go for this flag right away, so just a machine gun should be good. If not, it is easy to capture back. You know, you spawn right here, you bring some, some tanks, you put these tanks in here, you stop the enemy coming down from that reinforcement road by putting an AT gun or a tank here. And you just slowly by slowly, house by house, recapture with CQC units. Over here, it gets a little bit difficult because the flag is literally stuck in the enemy's forest. That Take take conscience that this is the enemy's. You, you don't own this forest. So if you want to go in this forest right around here to secure that flag, make sure that you've got a lot of troops in there. Uh, some mortars and stuff like that. You got to make sure because the enemy can just come in here, spawn or here from this road or this road. He can unload everything he wants there. He can have artillery shooting at you easily. You got to be careful for that. What I do is I'll usually put a couple of CQC squad in here, in there, uh, a machine gun around here, AT gun here. I'll put a... Um, light recon around here to shoot and stuff uh and sometimes i'll put some medium infantry around here as well uh, but you gotta make sure you protect this very well then over here you can lightly defend so medium range infantry cqc infantry maybe a recon car as well just to make sure over here this is where the fun happens on red side you want to go for this flag really bad you want to take a lot of CQC units. You want to take Bazooka Squad if you have them. You want to take Panzer Grenadier with the Panzer Faust or the equivalent for the Allies. You want to take a lot of troops and go here right away. Why? Because you're never going 
to suffer casualties here. The enemy is never going to unload an AT gun around here. He's never going to have a tank sitting around here in the open. And if he does, he's probably not going to have recon to watch over it. So the chances of you actually dying going for this like are really, really small. And then guess what? The enemy has to, whatever plan that he was counting on, now he has to react to you being here. So you have to bring unit from around here or here, and then he has to come here, unload, walk the hill or the forest, and then come in slowly because your troops will be here waiting for them. It's, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare for the enemy. So what you do is you spawn on this road, and you go here on move fast order. You unload CQC around here, medium range unit around here, tanks, recon, and whatever around here, and maybe some uh, long range infantry around here as well. And with them, long range infantry, you'll take position in this forest, in this forest, in this forest, you'll take position in this forest, you'll take position in this house with some CQC or maybe medium range as well. But if not some CQC in here, here, uh, you want some light AT guns, you want them um, around just a little bit everywhere. You want to take position everywhere around here. Really make it hard for your for the enemy to come in. Once you got this position, and if everything goes well around these parts, then you want to start pushing around here and here. Now, the enemy is going to be concentrated into attacking you here. So then you can come in down this road, and you can climb up here with some infantry, maybe some bazooka squad as well, and then you can try to push your way into that forest, capture this flag, and then you go in for this flag. Um, this is a winning combination. This is what you do as the red player, in my opinion, anyway. Okay, so, yeah. Um, and that's it for uh, Rest West. It's a nice map. There's a lot of opportunities. It's good for either infantry or tank division. Um, I like it. I feel like it's a lot of fun. Don't forget, you can always sit your 2k tanks on this hill, sit anti-air on this hill, like 88 mil or whatever. Uh, sit, you know, 2k HE around here. This is a really good position, this hill. This hill can protect the town here. If you check with your line of sight, eventually you... Oh, there you go. This one. You put a unit, HE unit here, or a tank and they'll protect you in town. Um, some really good spot you need to be aware of. Um, over here on the red side, you can also, what I often do is I'll put an AT gun around here with two machine gun. And why is that? Is because this, this is a really good defensive position for this. And then if you get that defensive position, you might consider going for this flag right away. Although this could be dangerous, but you know, you. Might as well just try. Um, but I really like to lock this area down already by my own troops. And then if I do that and I go here, the enemy cannot really push around here. Or if he does, he'll be fucked. And then once you got this, you push in here. And by pushing in here, if you already got your machine gun and AT gun here, the enemy won't be able to react or try to stop you from using this road. So that is it. I hope this helps you. Uh, if you like that content, subscribe. I'll show all the maps as time goes by. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.